Hello, did everyone have a great day? Yes. Oh, I'm so glad. So did I. And much more to come, right? Yes. In the next few days. There's so many of you that I must say hello to and meet, and I look forward to all the discussions. So I have a short presentation tonight. I'm not the presentation this time like last night. I actually have a presentation tonight for you. So... I love this slide right here because it shows us the universe, it shows us uh, the brain cells, oh, sorry, it shows us the death of a star and the birth of a cell, it shows us the iris of our eye and the universe. And what I love about it is it says to me that we're not just connected, but we're interrelated. And everything is energy. We are energy. And in the meditation class that I'm gonna be facilitating in the morning, it's an opportunity for us to just be still and connect with this wonderful nature around us and this wonderful energy around us. And we'll be talking about a lot of topics, and subtle energy is one of them. And I love the idea that before we discovered microwaves, we thought that they didn't exist. But did they really not exist, or did we not just have a scientific device to measure them? So I think of subtle energy this way. Just because maybe we didn't have subtle energy devices to measure subtle energy, does that mean it didn't exist? And I'd like to say that, of course, science has reached a point where we do have these devices to measure subtle energy. So in my meditation class, can you just pause it for a moment? We're going to be talking about a few ideas. Can you pause it? Excuse me. For one moment, just pause. Clinging to past perspectives pause. will not repeat. Yeah. I couldn't talk fast enough. <laughs> But we're going to be talking about a few ideas. We're going to be talking about um, the senses and how we sense the world around us. And the senses that go beyond just our sight, our ability to touch, hearing, these kinds of senses. We're going to also talk about perception. And that when we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. And we're also going to be talking about balance and bringing balance into our lives. And this is at any age with anything that you're doing, and it's just the importance of having good balance. And the last thing we'll be talking about uh, in meditation also is the power of thought. So I have just a short clip for you to watch on the power of thought. Bravo. Yes. Thank you. Going along with Florine Montagno and uh, many of the things that he's been talking about so far this week, power of uh, thought. Yet clinging to past perspectives will not reveal nor describe the secrets of human consciousness and its impact on the universe. The idea that humans are sensory animals designed to merely experience reality passively cannot coexist in conjunction with the new discoveries in quantum science. Instead, New data shows that we are, consciously or unconsciously, influencing and creating the results we experience in our everyday lives. Contemporary physics draws fewer conclusions and in many cases inspires further questioning. But in this process we recognize that nature is richer than the models humans use to describe it. In essence, perception is not reality, but it becomes so when we believe only what we already know and disregard other possibilities. If our mentality becomes our reality, then changing the way we view thought and its relationship to the physical world must precede any advancement and enhancement of our own current conditions. We feel comfortable. Sit comfortably. Cross your legs. Clasp your fingers. Or sit in your chair now, with your feet planted on the ground. Close your eyes. Closing your eyes. Stop inner or outer chatter. Shh. 
don't chant any mantra. Just relax. Totally relax. Just relax. When we cross our legs and clasp our fingers, energy circuit is formed and gives more stability. Eyes are doors of the mind, so eyes should be closed. doesn't live for itself. It gives life to others as it transforms. And I think about this every day. And I want you to think about, as you look on the telescope and look up at the sky, I'm not just talking about the universe that you see up above, but I'm talking about the universe that exists within each one of us. We are all co-creators. And I love our theme for Atlanticron this year because we have the opportunity at every moment to create the future we want. So I want to invite you to our meditation group. Uh, it will be Muine, Shapte de Diminatsa, Aich. Fuerte Bile. And um, I hope you come join us to talk about I, these ideas of perception, the breath, being in the moment, the power of thought, perception, balance, and have the opportunity to practice these techniques and find what works for you and your truth. So I thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Uh, I also want to mention that the meditation class will be followed with Qigong by Peter Moon at 8 o'clock. Um, in addition, just one quick note that touch drawing will be at 3 o'clock so we don't overlap on anyone else's classes. And Irish dance will be at 6. So I thank you so much. Namaste. I thank you. So uh, quite busy these days, right? Yes. Quite busy. Good busy. Irish dance? Yes. You dance with me? Are you not? <laughs> well, I saw you in the line this morning, or this afternoon. Undercover. <laughs> it wasn't me. We might have a photograph to prove it, so we might have a surprise guest in the Irish dance. Of course, I need to. Looking forward to it. Of course, I learned to dance. To you know. Yes. A lot of years here, you were training a lot of people. I just watch and learn. <laughs> Easy. You've got all the moves now. Look at me now. <laughs> <laughs>